the evolutionary function of emotion. Rawls goes on to identify this as the evolutionary function of emotions, i.e. enabling flexibility of behavioral response. Quote, Emotions have the important evolutionary role of enabling genes to specify the goals, i.e. the rewards, etc., that produce emotions for actions rather than the actions themselves. The advantage of this Darwinian design is that although the genes specify the goals, the actual actions are not pre-specified by the genes, so that there is great flexibility of the actions themselves. This shows how genes can influence behavior without specifying a fixed instinctive behavioral response. End quote. The brain processes which generate rewards and punishments in conjunction with particular experiences or representations are crucial to achieving this flexibility. The action systems in the brain are designed to optimize the output of the reward and punishment systems. Put another way, the brain systems involved in motivation and emotion must pass on reward or punisher signals to the action systems, which then attempt to obtain and maximize the reward signals being received. Since it's the range of emotional responses and not the behavioral responses that are fixed, the brain can switch behavior from one reward to another as the reward signals being received change. It can also, of course, switch behavior if signals indicating possible punishers are received. It's interesting to note that Rawls's decoupling of a necessary direct link between genes and behavior opens the way for cultural evolution and all the socio-cultural phenomena covered by Richard Dawkins' neologism, memes. In other words, human beings use their emotional reactions as calibrated by early experience to judge which of the possibly many patterns of social and cultural behavior to which they are exposed they wish to imitate.